My name is Brittany Hess, and I'm a senior financial analyst at Superior Construction in Jacksonville, Florida. My name is Andrew Commons. I work for Gaylor Electric. I'm the assistant controller, and our offices are located in Indianapolis, Indiana. My name is Crystal Amos. I am the controller for a company called Miles Resources, and we're in Seattle, Washington. My name is Leah Hampton. I am employed with Alterman Inc. Uh, my title there is Business Systems and Financial Analyst, and we are based out of San Antonio with an additional location in Austin. And some of the main reasons that I decided to go with Profix was mostly the financial reporting aspect, um, making sure that I could get my reports, be intuitive, not use Excel. Overall, we've just been able to make much better informed decisions. Um, there was a point in time when we were uh, we were bidding on jobs and you know trying to get jobs, and we didn't have any supporting data of whether or not we were actually going to be able to support that job or if we would be able to effectively complete that job. Um, we are now able to project that type of information with Profix. Using Profix, we're able to see where we stand from a cash standpoint and also forecast some of our revenues that are coming in to see if we should purchase more equipment, um, what other markets we should bid jobs in. Each month we do our normal financial statements through profits, balance sheets, income statements, and cash flow statements, and those kind of things. Uh, we also use it for annual budgeting with uh, personnel planning for salaried employees. Uh, and every month we use it for forecasting our job costs and our revenues, uh, planned revenues for each of the jobs individually. Currently, we're in the process of designing web reporting. We did incorporate a jobs cube, um, which is importing all of our jobs as well as phase codes. We do project our manpower for our jobs, so how many individuals we're going to need on a job over a specific amount of time. Um, we also look at our P&L um, as well as G&A expenses by division, so we're able to, to really turn our data around and figure out the, the uh, underlying information. So we're looking at WIP reporting, and then we're also looking at doing some estimating software reporting to look at win-loss ratios and things like that for our salesmen so that we can be more competitive in our market. The financial processes we've been able to automate are extensive. We are Excel-based entirely, so for us, it's been a matter of taking all of these Excel documents that have been in use for 20 plus years and converting them into something automatic and, and creating processes so that these automatic things happen and no one has to think about it. And it's been very innovative. And so far we're pulling our financial statements out of Profix, the balance sheet, income statement, and WIP report. Uh, we are going to start budgeting and forecasting as well. At Gaylor, we have a really tight timeline on a lot of the things that we do with Profix. Uh, we have a one-day close for our financials each month. Uh, we do a two-day forecast uh, process, which is the day after the one-day close. Um, and we produce our financial statements that following Friday. So within five days, we have financial statements and a complete forecast for the following month uh, done and ready to go for the next month. Um, the best part about that is it, it gives us the rest of the month to do the work that we're doing. Um, something our president says often is, is uh, we're a construction company, not an accounting company. So I would say that our reporting has been slimmed down by maybe three or four days worth of work just because we were able to put those into Profix now. With Profix, we've been able to actually automate, we've been able to improve our analytical processes, and we've just been able to overall produce more effective data.